Hey guys! Okay, so today I am going to do a tutorial for you on my two little buns. So they are so simple. I've kind of been holding out on doing this tutorial because I feel like you're going to watch it and be like, yes, we all knew how to do that. So anyways, if you feel that way, I'm sorry, but I've had a lot of requests. So I want to just do a quick tutorial to show, to show you. All you should need is like two hair things, something to part your hair with, and yeah. So I do this either at night. If I do it at night, I'm gonna make sure it's a little bit looser than how I'm gonna show you guys today and I wouldn't like rat it at all to make it bigger. If I'm doing it as a cute hairdo for the day, then I try to do it a little bit tighter so it's not gonna fall out. So all I'm gonna do is keep my center part. Um, if you have a side part, I would just kind of turn it to the center and back. So you make sure you have it down the center and back. Okay, you're just gonna pull one side forward so you don't get it in the ponytail. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to kind of make sure that I have a couple pieces left out, but not too much, and then I can pull a little bit down after it's up if I feel like I want a little bit more hair out. So, sorry, I'm looking down at the monitor so I can see what I'm doing, but I will try not to. You're just going to lightly pull it all up. I mean, you don't want it too tight. You want to give it that chill, loose vibe, especially if you're sleeping in it. You don't want to pull this too tight. You want to have it a little bit hangy in back and in front. So just pull that. I'm going to pull a couple little pieces down. And this is going from curly hair, which I normally always have curly hair. You can do it with curly, straight, whatever. So if your hair is super fine and soft and is going to fall out, I would suggest putting a hair thing in it right now before you twist it. I personally am not going to put a hair thing in it. Um, I, If you're sleeping in it to have curls the next morning, do not put a hair thing in it before because that's going to give you a really deep crease and you don't want that. So all I'm going to do is start twisting it. Now I make sure, especially if, I, again, like I said, if I'm sleeping in it, I am twisting back, away from my face on both sides. That way when you take it out, you're going to have that nice back curl. Now if you want your curls going forward towards your face, then make sure you're twisting your buns forward. But I am going to make sure I twist them back. I go about halfway, see so you guys can see that, I go about halfway up my head before I start, I don't go all the way to twist it, I twist about halfway and then I start wrapping it around my bun. So I'm just going to pull forward here and then once I get to where my twist is done, then I'm going to pull the rest of it through. See, now mine fell out. So twist it again. Sorry, I'm like taking too long. Normally this takes me one second. So now I'm gonna finish twisting it as I go around. Then just make sure I have that bottom piece all twisted, especially if you're sleeping in it. Get my hair thing. All I'm gonna do is wrap it around two or three times, depending on how thick your hair is. And there's my bun. Now I'm gonna pull out a few pieces of hair. See, sometimes I can't decide if I want those out or not. Now if you would like, you can get a bobby pin, pin a couple pieces if you need to pin anything up. But I really just keep it super chill, easy. I feel like if you spend too much time on it, it's going to look a little bit too worked. So there's that. I would maybe pin that piece up, but I actually think I'm okay. So then I'm just going to take my other side, do the exact same thing. Make sure it's all just loosely pulled up, even with the other side. And now sometimes it's tricky on one side rather than the other. This one I always have to think twice that I'm twisting away from my face. Okay, so then I have it halfway done. Then I'm going to start twisting around my bun. Okay, get your hair thing, wrap it around. And voila! So, I mean, okay, that seems like the silliest tutorial ever, but it really is that simple. I do want to show you guys, in case you have a little bit thinner hair, or fine, I'm going to show you guys how I would do it. I would put a hair thing in it first. Okay, tighten it a little so your pony isn't going to fall out. Then what I would do is take a couple sections Okay, now you guys can see my hair better. I take a couple sections and just wrap them, just a tiny bit, just to give that bun a little bit more volume if you want it bigger. OK, 
Okay, now you just have a bigger pony. Make sure you're not like undoing your ratting while you're, I wouldn't twist it as hard either. I would just loosely twist your bun as you're wrapping it around. And there you go. So your bun should just be a little bit more full. You can kind of see the difference. Yes, this one, a little bit bigger, more of like a bun, like a big poofy bun look. And this has more of the tight. You could bring spikies out if you want little pieces sticking out. But it's as easy as that. I try to make sure this sounds weird because you would normally would never want this. If you're full on going for the two bun look, I would try to do it high on your head, but pretty far out. You don't want them like too far here. You want them wide buns. So anyways, rock the bun look, be confident, have fun. I like to wear it to the gym, just hanging out. I like to wear it swimming too, because I like to pull my hair up swimming, but I want to keep maybe my beachy curls the way I want them instead of just putting it up in a tight half bun or something like that. So I'll do the two buns to keep my curls looking nice. And then when I pull them out, this side's going to be a little different because it's ratted. Brody always makes fun of me when I go to bed tonight, or when I go to bed at night with my buns, but they really do make my hair have so much more body the next morning, and my curls hold so much better. So this side obviously has a little bit more body because I ratted it, but yeah, so you take it out. Obviously you're gonna leave it in all night, but it's gonna give you that messy, curly look, and yeah. Okay, hope you guys like, and I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye guys.